guys, welcome back. So I've got my April Ipsy bag for you today, and I'm gonna do it like I did last month. I've already opened this bag, and I've been playing around with the products inside. So this is going to be an unbagging, not really slash review type Ipsy video. <laughs> um, so I can just kind of give you some feedback on them and let you know what I think about the products inside. So I've been playing with them for a couple of days now, so I definitely have some opinions on them. So yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing in my bag was a brush, and this is from Coastal Scents, um, and it also had a coupon with it. Like a, it says 25% off, Ipsters get 25% off CoastalScents.com, so that's cool. This is the Medium Shadow Brush, and that's what it looks like, so you can kind of see. Um, I will say about this brush, it's nice, it's very soft. Very, very soft. It's got stuff in it. I've already been playing with it. It's very nice. It feels good. Um, it's kind of a large brush for my eye shape. So I will probably use this more um, for brow bone highlights, matte brow bone highlights, just because this is way too big for my lid, you know, because I have hooded eyes and I just have to have smaller brushes for my lids. Um, but it's a nice brush. It's very nice quality. Uh, feels nice and soft, and yeah, I'm excited to play around with it more, so no complaints there. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like. The design on it is really, really cute. Um, it's a record, and it says Beauty Rocks, and I love like classic rock and music, um, a lot of different kinds of music, so I really like the design. It just doesn't feel like a great quality bag, so it could have been like thicker or um, just like more rubbery or just, I don't know, felt more durable. So the quality of the bag doesn't feel that great, but I think the design on it is cute. So let's see what's inside. Okay, the first thing in my bag is I got a lip liner. This is the Star Looks Luscious Longwear Lip Pencil in Naked. And I'm wearing it today. I do have a NYX Butter Gloss over the top of it, um, so it changes it just slightly, but not by much. This is a really nice pencil. It's a beautiful kind of um, pinky sort of a coral. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's a very traditional lip liner in that it's kind of a thicker formula, but it goes on nicely, wears really, really well. So I'm really impressed. I like this lip liner a lot, and I love the color. I think it's perfect for spring, just a really pretty kind of happy sort of um, coral that's still slightly neutral, so it's easy to wear with a lot of different looks. So I really like this liner. Okay, next I got a skincare item. This is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. And I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of getting skincare stuff in my bags just because I have sensitive skin, I break out fairly easily, and I'm just picky about skincare. So I did try this the other night though, I wanted to give it a shot, and I do like it. It's definitely very micro. Um, the little exfoliators in it are very, very tiny, so I feel like you could kind of like get a little carried away with it if you're not careful, because I feel like, I don't know, with face exfoliants that feel a little bit more gritty, I'm a little bit more careful with them because I feel like, whoa, this is like really going to dig into my skin. Whereas when it's really tiny pieces, I feel like I'm going to town on it more and not really thinking, this is really exfoliating my skin. I need to be careful. So I don't know if anybody else does that. Do you do that? Let me know. But anyway, this is fine. It worked well. Um, I just would prefer to get more color type items in my bags. And then I got an eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. This is the Elizabeth Mott Pop Goes the Shadow, and I got it in champagne. And mine came broken, so that's kind of a bummer. It's not totally shattered, but uh, the top part is cracked, so that's kind of a bummer. But it's nice. The shadow is nice. Um, it's nicely pigmented. It feels very buttery. I don't know that I needed another champagne eyeshadow because I have a lot of champagne shadows, but I always love eyeshadow, so I, that's definitely one of the things that I like getting in my bag. So I have no complaints about it. You can see there it's nicely pigmented. I'm wearing this on my um, inner tear ducts, so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it's nice. It's pigmented. It's metallic. It's reflective and pretty. Uh, I just wish it didn't come broken. That definitely means that it's a very soft shadow, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's cool. I always like eyeshadow. And then lastly, I got a pencil from Urban Decay. This says it's the 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil. So I don't know if it's different. Um, this is what the inside packaging looks like. 
I don't know if this is different from their regular 24-7 glide-on pencils, because I have several of those, um, but this one says velvet, specifically. So the formula says velvet, and then the color I got is black velvet. And I really like this liner a lot. Normally, almost every day, I get a little bit of mascara or eyeliner or something kind of in the corner of my eye. But the two days that I've worn this, I have had less of that happening. So I feel like this just wears really, really well in the waterline and on my upper lash line. So I'm a big fan of this pencil. So I don't know if it's different um, or if it's just in my head, but <laughs> I like it. It seems to work really well for me. So I'm super happy that this was in my bag. All right, so that is everything that I got in my April Ipsy bag. I'm really happy with my bag this month. Um, I don't love it as much as last month. That was my favorite bag so far, but I do really like it. Like I would say the Urban Decay liner is a big hit. I really like the lip liner because um, it looks like a full size, so that's cool. And um, pretty much everything else, I would have skipped the exfoliant, but other than that, I love everything else. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, it's $10 a month and you get four to five uh, deluxe size sample products. And I really like my subscription. I have really been pleased with it so far. So I will leave a link down below if you want to sign up. You don't have to use my link if you don't want to, but if you do, thank you so much. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you subscribe to Ipsy, let me know what you got in your bag. I would love to hear that. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.